ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் ஜிதேஷ் சத்யன் வாட்ஸ்அப் நம்பர் ப்ளஸ் நைன் ஒன் நைன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஒன் ஒன் எயிட் டூ நைன் டுடே ஸ்டாக் இஸ் ஆன் த நியாசாஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் இன் அ சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் வி ஆல் பெர்ஃபார்ம் நியாசாஸ் டியூரிங் ஜப்பா அண்ட் இன் மெனி கேசஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் பிகம் மெக்கானிக்கல் வில் டேக் ஜஸ்ட் த காமன் ஹிரதயாதி நியாசா and explain the inner significance hrudayadi nyasa as most of you might be aware is where mantras are ending with hrudayaya nama shirase swaha shikhaye vash and so on and appropriate mudras are shown along with the mantras okay hrudaya kamalam is considered the point where the atma rests or the divinity rests and not really the physical heart hence as such we cannot touch the hrudaya so the nyasa starts by offering namaskaras to the godliness in the heart as hrudayaya nama next we go to the head which is the origin point of all thoughts so all external thoughts needs to be dissolved or offered into the mind this is the shiras where thoughts are offered with the mantra shirase swaha next is shikha shikha point popularly called as agni shikha is the jyoti or chaitanya region with shikhaye vashat the full body is made jyoti maya for worshiping the devata next with the jyoti spread the focus is to block or protect from external energies which is achieved with kavacha kavachaya hum hum for the tejas this is the kavacha mantra next is netra and vaushat vaushat means darshana this is vision proper vision and not normal view the eyes needs to see the goddess in sri chakra and not a metal structure preparing the eyes for proper vision is netatrayaya vaushat finally astraya phat where arrows astra of fire phat is invoked to ward off any negative energies that can cause disturbance so the nyasa involves namaskara to inner divinity dissolution of materialistic thoughts spreading of jyoti blocking with armor getting the right vision and driving off external disturbances hope you will apply the sankalpa and meaning next time you do the nyasa thanks for listening